Overnight on Capitol Hill, Senate leaders striking a deal. Agreed to a massive $2 trillion coronavirus stimulus package, the largest in U.S. history. The deal, which must still be voted on by both the Senate and the House, includes $100 billion of relief funding for hospitals, $200 billion for domestic priorities like transportation, child care, seniors and veterans, $500 billion for major corporate loans, and a small business rescue package that's over $350 billion. The bill will also provide a one-time $1,200 check to Americans who make $75,000 a year or less. The Treasury Secretary says President Trump will absolutely sign it. Meanwhile, the president hopes the country will be back up and running full steam ahead by Easter, just two and a half weeks from now, despite repeated cautions from the nation's top health experts. However, his own task force advisor, Dr. Anthony Fauci, says that deadline must be flexible. On a literally day by day and week by week basis, you need to evaluate the feasibility of what you're trying to do. Dr. Fauci adding there would not be a blanket recommendation for the entire country since cases vary from state to state. New York remains the biggest coronavirus hotspot, accounting for more than half of the country's cases and nearly a third of the deaths. The World Health Organization warns the U.S. has the potential to overtake Italy as the global epicenter of the coronavirus pandemic. The president also doubling down on the idea that economic instability caused by the virus could be worse than the pandemic itself. Tom Costello, NBC News. So it's believed the Senate bill would not help just the airlines, but airline maker Boeing. Obviously huge news for us here locally. The bill calls for a $17 billion federal loan program for businesses which are, quote, critical to maintaining national security. So the Washington reports... The Washington Post reports that although that didn't mention Boeing by name, that part of the bill was meant to directly help Boeing, which has been seeking $60 billion in government loans for aerospace manufacturing. The aerospace industry employs 2.5 million people. Boeing employs 153,000 people. And as you might expect, this $2 trillion stimulus package making a huge uh, impact on Wall Street coming off already its best day since 1933 yesterday up another 1200 points right now Boeing stock is up 29 percent Expedia another huge company locally up 12 percent also of course in the travel sector and overall the Dow is up about 11 percent over its last three trading sessions. Now, Boeing has officially shut down all of its facilities in the Northwest because of the coronavirus. King 5's aviation specialist, Glenn Farley, joining us now live. So, Glenn, you've been reporting on this for the last couple of days. Now that the stimulus package has been passed, what impact will that have, do you think, for Boeing workers? Well, the whole idea is to keep the Boeing workers working as it is to million other employees who work for the some 17,000 suppliers that make parts and provide services for Boeing to keep working. So again, that's the general idea, but I know there is a lot of nervousness among other aviation companies that aren't in that direct stream of uh, being suppliers to Boeing who are wondering if they're going to be included. And we're still waiting for a lot of details here. And you know, they say the devil is in the details and that's the question, what are those details at this point? All we know is that Washington Post report, of course, they're there on the ground in Washington, D.C., talking about the $17 billion. So the question is, is the 17 for Boeing? Because Boeing framed this as themselves and these suppliers. So if it turns out it's $17 billion in loan guarantees for Boeing and something else is out there saying, okay, and then the balance of that is going to be going to the suppliers, then that probably works out. If it's $17 billion total for that industry, despite the ask from before, how much will that go to sort of backstop aviation manufacturing in the United States? And we've seen Boeing take a huge hit financially between the 737 MAX crisis and now the coronavirus. But over the last three trading sessions, stock is up 66 percent. Where would you uh, how would you characterize Boeing financially as a company right now? Well, Boeing has clearly been hit by the MAX grounding, which has lasted over a year. Um, their target to get back up and flying again is the middle of the summer. Uh, we're now hearing it reporting that they may start production of the MAX down in Renton again in May. 
they were targeting April, but I think we can gather that the May has got a, the, the May start time that's being reported. We're trying to get confirmation of that now. Has been part, you know, the virus is going to have an impact there. So uh, those are the kinds of things that 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 hopefully will. And the market is obviously expressing some confidence. Boeing last week was one of the most. Uh, we have dogs here too. Was one of the most um, uh, impacted companies on the Dow. Uh, now it is also it's, it's gaining quite a bit. So. Um, that is kind of what we're doing here. This is the perils of working from home. <laughs> well, say hi to the pooches for us. We appreciate re your reporting, as always, on Boeing and the airline uh, and aviation industries as well. All right, stay safe, Glenn. We'll talk to you again soon. Meantime, Governor Inslee's stay-home order is now in effect for Washington. Today is the last day that non-essential businesses can be open before they are forced by law to close. King 5's Kira L. Fallen is in South King County with more. That stay home, stay healthy order is in effect. So here in Covington and places all across Washington, you're not going to see many people out and about today, uh, but grocery store parking lots like this, probably where you're going to see much of the activity that is happening. So grocery stores, along with pharmacies, doctor's offices, to-go restaurants, gas stations, child care, marijuana dispensaries, and so on. Those are the list of some of the businesses that are going to stay open. But unless you are an essential worker, these are really the only things you should be heading out the door for unless you are just going for a walk or going to get some exercise. So many other sectors, including utilities, agriculture, and communications are also included on the list of essential businesses. People who work in healthcare, emergency services, food, transportation, water, energy, and critical government workers will also still be out and about. So many construction projects have also had to stop operation to comply with the governor's order. Just to give you an idea, in downtown Seattle alone, there are at least 60 different construction projects. So the order will only make an exemption for construction of essential facilities. If you want more clarification on what that means, we have a full story up on our website at king5.com. So if you would like a list of those essential businesses, again, because that went by way too fast on your screen, or you just want to read it in detail, just text the word list to the number you see there on your screen, 206-448-4545. From Covington, I'm Kira L. Fallen, King 5 News. All right, so now a lot of people wondering, how will Governor Inslee's order be enforced, whether it's businesses or you supposed to be staying home? Amy Moreno in Edmonds with that side of the story. Police all over the state are really trying to emphasize a role in this that involves education and not so much enforcement. I mean, they've got plenty to do that doesn't involve going out and looking for people who are not obeying the stay at home order. Now, here in Edmonds, this is one of the areas where they're giving police a little more of an ability to ticket people and they can go up to $500 with a fine, but they really hope it does not come to that. Many departments have been taking to social media to share their message and try to spell some of the concerns. The Grays Harbor County Sheriff's Office said rumors of martial law or strict enforcement are just simply not true. They don't want to make any arrests or take anyone to jail. Several departments, including the Pierce County Sheriff's Department, showed this information from the Washington Association of Sheriffs and Police Chiefs, hitting a lot of the same key points and emphasizing they are not going to be going out looking for this activity and you do not need a special pass or license to conduct essential services. While Edmonds is one of the few communities where they're a little more vocal in talking about enforcement, they say it's because they have such a large vulnerable population. 25% of the people who live here are over 60, but they still believe most people will comply voluntarily and they doubt it will mean they actually have to ticket people or threaten to take them to jail. And Keep in mind, you can still walk around this community and get out of your house a little bit. You just cannot congregate in parks and places like that. The governor has said his order is enforceable by law, but really he believes the worst that can come from not obeying it is more unnecessary deaths in our state. In Edmonds, Amy Marino, King 5 News. And a reminder, state parks and wildlife areas are temporarily closing starting today for at least two weeks. State campgrounds and other overnight accommodations will remain closed through April 30th. If you take the Sounder North line to get around, you will have to find an alternative route, not because of coronavirus, but service canceled today and tomorrow because of a landslide in North Seattle. Sound Transit says as long as there are no additional problems, then service should resume on Friday.
1210 right now looking live at the waterfront in Seattle where some parking enforcement measures are temporarily on hold to encourage you to stay home and leave your cars parked. So for instance, the 72 hour rule is now suspended. Other cities like Tacoma have already done the same thing.